By feeding in is where we feel the most pressure because we're supposed to make that. So for some reason that makes us tighten up, we're not loose, um, we know we've got to make it so we feel a little bit more pressure. I always kind of joke with all the players is that you know when we miss those five footers the commentators are saying that we're choking because we needed to make those putts. So I always practice five feet and in. That was a putt that, that was important for me. So what I always want to do with a five foot and in putt, I, I usually putt it around the hole. So I wouldn't have a straight putt all the time. But what this did was it kind of found um, the same speed. On a five footer, I always had the same speed. Um, when I made contact with the ball, the ball had the same speed going to the hole. That's how you kind of learn how the ball's gonna break. Because when you're playing all different, different kind of golf courses, you've gotta have consistent speed. So if I know what the speed is coming off a putter, I'm gonna make a lot more putts. So in five feet and in, I always did the same as like when I'm hitting. I always, you know, I would take a practice stroke just to feel the, feel the speed or feel the putt. Then I would come back here and I'd visualize it going in. So I'd pick a spot on my target line. Now this one's going a little bit left to right, so my target line is gonna be left center of the cup. So I will draw an imaginary line from left center of the cup to my ball, pick out a spot, lay the grass that I know is on that target line, step up to it, looking at that spot, put my putter down, lined up to that spot knowing it's on my target line, but now I've gotta think, okay, I'm lined up, I've gotta think consistent speed, so I'll make the putt every time, okay? Same thing, just visualize what the ball's gonna do, stroke it down the line over that spot that I picked. You're gonna make a lot of those putts, but five feet in is where a lot of people will get up to a 30 footer, 25 footer, because not everybody hits it close, and immediately they're thinking about three putting. They're not thinking about getting it close, they're thinking about, oh gosh, I might three putt. It's negative. So we want them to be confident. So if you practice those five feet and in putts, no matter where you are on the green, if you get inside that five foot circle, you probably have a pretty good chance to make the putt because first of all, you've got confidence, you've been practicing it, and you know that you can make that putt. If I have the ball here, if I take the putter back short and accelerate down the line, the ball's gonna start off on a good track. If I take it back too far and decelerate, the ball goes right, left, it glides, it doesn't really start uh, rolling the way it should if you accelerate. Keeps the ball more on target line. The other thing is <clears throat> making sure the putter blade stays close to the ground. So you're sweeping the grass on the green and make sure, make sure once you hit it that the putter blade stays low, at least about an inch past the ball so that you get that really good true roll. If you come uh, up to a putt and you pick the club up, you're not gonna hit it as solid, and then what happens is you're gonna catch the ball. You're not gonna catch all of it, so you're gonna catch part of it, and now you're already coming up out of the putt. So it's all about <clears throat> keeping that putter down the line, short, accelerate down the line, keeps the ball rolling towards your target.